in a back bend. What does my life become? Beyonce said I was flawless. <laughs> yeah, so this isn't a cute picture at all. But hey, I like happy endings. So let's rewind, shall we? Okay, so there's the hot music. Um, Izzy, uh, Izzy, hello? Izzy! Look, I know you're stoked about making the team and everything, but now what are we gonna do? You barely remember anything from tryouts, and you haven't touched a flag in like two days. Hmm. Oh, I know! We can make a tutorial on how to do pop tosses, drop spins, and pull hits. Of course, why'd I think of that? The perfect ending. Let's start. What's up, Wombats? It's Lainey here, and we're here with Izzy and Madeline. During this tutorial, Izzy's always going to be facing the front, and Mad's going to face the back. We're going to be showing you some basic flag fundamentals that the color guard learned during auditions. So first off, we're going to start off with drop spins. You're going to have your right hand under at the tab, your left over at the stopper. Your first position is going to be flat. We like to be at your spin spot, which is about your belly button, a good distance away from your body. And you're going to box up those elbows, make a connection with the audience by lifting your face up towards the audience. And then we're going to go five, six, seven, up, eight. On eight, your hands should be straight up and down. I'm gonna make sure to box up those elbows still. And then we're gonna go down on count one. And when you go down on count one, I want you to let go with your left hand, turn down with your right. And then your odd counts are always gonna face down and your thumbs are gonna point towards the silk, always. Then you're gonna go up two, which is an even count. So it's gonna be up. Your thumbs are also gonna be up, pointing towards the silk still. And with that, you wanna let go with your right hand and turn up with your left. And now we're gonna do some reps. They're gonna to go to eight. So if you wanna follow along, feel free to do so. All right, guys, the next one we're going to learn is pull hits. You're going to have your right hand over at the tab, your left under at the bottom cheater, which should be three hands down from the top of your stopper to your pole. And then you're going to have your seat belt. We're going to show two ways. So at auditions, we learn straight up and down, and we also learned seat belt earlier in the year. So Izzy's going to be slanted, and then Melon's going to catch it straight up and down. Both versions, you want to catch at the same position that you started with, though. And then you're going to pull apart horizontally, like Melon is showing you here in this picture. Not vertically, you're not lifting anything with your hands. It's literally a horizontal motion where you release the flag with your hands at the same exact time. Really hard so you can get that full rotation around. Alright guys, so if you have all those points down and you kind of feel confident, you can do some reps with Izzy and Madeline now. They're going to go slow for eight counts and then fast for eight counts. So you can get a gist of what the tempo seems like at different speeds. Got it. Five, six. And notice here when they caught, they stopped it aggressively with both hands to prevent it from over-rotating at all. Make sure you catch it strong. Alright guys, and you finally made it to your first official toss. This one's called a pop toss. You're going to have your right hand over at the tab, your left under at the bottom cheater, which should be three hands down from your stopper to the inside of your pole, just like on the pole hits. You want to make sure your seatbelt can slave your life, and you want to box up your elbows on that slant. And then on one, you're going to release, but instead of having a horizontal motion with the pull hits, you're going to have a vertical motion. So your right hand should literally be at your ear, and your left should be almost hitting your left leg down. And then on seven and eight, when we do the count off, you're going to do a cone. A cone gives you momentum to go into the toss to create a full rotation. And when you're doing that cone, think of using both hands at the same time and drawing a little circle on the ground in front of you. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, out. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, out. Yes. 
Here are a few things to keep in mind when you're doing these reps with Malin and Izzy. Make sure your feet under your toss are not moving at all. You want to keep a stable and firm position. Also, you make sure your free hands are up and down, vertical always. And you release on one with the rest of the group to make sure you're not late or too early. All right, well, I'm back to this wrap on our first ever tutorial posted on this channel. If you have any questions on anything that was covered in this video, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below, and we'll answer those as soon as possible. Catch you in the next tutorial, Wombats.